So true confession, when I prep strawberries for my kids, I take each strawberry and I cut it in half as symmetrically as possible so that I can divide the strawberries as evenly as possible between my two kids. Yikes, I know. <laughs> but really, I do it for my own peace of mind because fairness, fairness, let's call him Mr. Fairness. He wants to live at my house. I'm Liz Beauchamp. Thanks for joining me today for the Praise Daily. Now, I know that for some of you, Mr. Fairness wants to live at your house too. So I am curious, what things must absolutely, positively be fair at your house? Drop me a comment below about those things. There's, you've gotta have something that must be absolutely equal at your house, right? Help me feel a little bit better about my strawberry situation, okay? So yes, I do let Mr. Fairness help me cut the strawberries. But the fairness thing, it shows up enough in our house that we have a standard response. And the response goes something like this. Life is not fair. Most of the time, it's not fair in your favor. I think we all have that deep-seated desire, some measure of it, for fairness. And I think it's linked to justice and judgment. And that is where I want to pick up today in James 2. So look with me at James 2, verse 12. So whatever you say or whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. So we're each facing a judgment from God where he will determine what is fair, what is the just result of our lives. And I don't know about you, but for me, it's not looking great. What I deserve is kind of ugly. But the law that we will be judged under because of what Jesus has done, regardless of the fact that our thoughts and our actions and our words deserve death, the law that we will be judged under, it doesn't bind us or condemn us, but it sets us free. And James goes on in the next verse to tell us what we should do about that. Verse 13. There will be no mercy for those who have not shown mercy to others. But if you have been merciful, God will be merciful when he judges you. I want God to be merciful when he judges me. I want to be judged according to the law of liberty. And how do I get there? I accept what Jesus has done for me. And then what follows out of that is that I treat others with the same mercy that I have received. And what a wide and deep and enduring mercy that is. And when Mr. Fairness comes and tries to whisper in my ear that someone else has not lived up to their end of the deal, or that I am fit to sit as judge and jury over someone else's actions, it is my job to remind Mr. Fairness that mercy triumphs over judgment. Thank you for joining us today. We would love for you to click the like button, to subscribe, to turn on notifications so that you can get a heads up when we come out with new content for Praise Online. We love you and we miss you. Say hello in the comments below. Goodbye.